It's Russia in blue serving Kata in red, receiving the gold medal match from the FIVB four-star Cancun hub event here in Mexico. And Sidak is not achieved by the Sheriff. He's got that one into the net and away. It didn't touch Semenov, and Russia have the opening point. Leshikov the target, and he's come up with the error. Qatar really have been a, a revelation here in Cancun. They have reveled in these conditions and played some amazing volleyball. Really making a statement ahead of the Olympic Games, that's for sure, and that's the reason they've been doing it. What a really, really good block from Sheriff. He gets down out of the eye line of Leshikov, but he's so quick, back up and into the space. Watch how quick he is from there and in and across. That's awesome. The Sheriff has just shot down Leshikov. Good work from Leshikov. He's going to have a lot to do in this match. Kata are going to stay away from Semenov as much as possible, you feel. Yeah. Tough customer to deal with, Sheriff, as well, when he's attacking as a left-hander. They pose a whole different kind of set of problems that you don't normally encounter because nine times out of ten you're playing against righties. Good up from Ahmed. That one's off the hands of Semenov. So we'll have a side change. And Kat are already up three points. You get the feeling Kat have been building slowly but surely towards this time in their career in the run up to the Olympics. They had a couple of nights in 2018, a fifth, a third, 17, 9, 17, a fifth, a 17th. And then they were in the top 10 with three nights in a row, beginning of kind of mid-2019. Then they dropped in Doha to a 17th, which is a bit of a disappointment for them. But after that, it's gone in the one year they've had to train and prep and be ready for the start of beach volleyball. They've come out absolutely flying. That's good work from Leshukov. They've gone 1 5 2 2. And they're going to be a guaranteed two here, looking for another one. Touch from Ahmed. Another chance here for Russia. Oh, it's not going to happen. Big block from Sherry. Russia not being overawed by the situation. They've uh, just keeping it steady for the moment, getting their side out. Massive swing.
Chance to get back to within three. Oh, good out from Ahmed. Sheriff will be on there. But it's free ball back for Russia. Oh, that one's bullied over the net by Leshukov. Some set, wasn't it, from Semenov? He's jump set that from one side of the court to the other. And the Sheriff wasn't worried. He knew it was coming wide, and somehow Leshukov, with a bit of help from the net, gets the point. Oh, massive. But a horse into the net. Play on. Oh, if you don't hit it hard enough first time, hit it harder second. They might need to go and put some uh, air back in that volleyball and check the pressure. Two absolute thumpers from Ahmed. Great defense from Leshikov. And again, a little bit of luck comes out the net. Claw it back over. But Ahmed just keeps on coming. That was brilliant. Well read. This for 10 5. He's not just a spike machine, Ahmed or a defensive maestro. He's got the shots to go with it. Kept Leshikov in that cross court position, which made it even more difficult for him to get to the ball. Good up. So that's the, the tricky part for Ahmed for um, Sheriff being a left-hander on that side, on the left side of court, because the ball has got to come right across his body. He's in front of Ahmed. This is really tricky to get something on it. You can see how difficult it is. He didn't have many angles. And that angle just ran away from Sheriff. So a couple of points for Russia, then back to within three. Having a little word with himself, he doesn't need to be too upset. Taxi for Ahmed, point for Kata. Wonderful skill from Ahmed. Great point for Kata. Oh dear. Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've got to chuckle at that because Ahmed has got such a big jump on him. He's leapt and then realised that, uh oh. I, I'm, I'm not going to get the ball here, and, and I can't stop myself from going in the net. That's adrenaline pumping through his body as well. Didn't help. Great up from Leshikov. He rather rushed the swing. Kata move four points clear. Ahmed to serve. Another point for Kata. These two teams have met each other four times. And in the first three encounters, Sheriff Samba won. But interestingly, 
at the first Cancun Cub Hub event here. It was Konstantin and Semenov who won. 21 17, 23 21. Italy? Yes, Italy? Yes. USA, other part of USA? Calma, amigo. Donde está los mexicanos? No, Tony, Tony. Donde está los mexicanos? The Russian duo have been playing together since 2018, and it's their 23rd tournament as a pairing. Semenov's been in 16 Final Fours prior to this one. He's had four wins, three silvers, and five bronze medals. It's the sixth time that Ilya's been this far. He's got two golds and three bronzes. That's a pretty good return. play from Leshikov. Semenov is a Olympian. He was ninth with uh, Sergei Prokopiev in 2012 and then fourth with Vasislav Krasilnikov in Rio. He's a very experienced player. And together they were ninth at the world champs in Hamburg. So the medals on the biggest stage have eluded them for the moment. They certainly have eluded them on the tour. Work. Semenov makes that look easy. He's able to swing across his body. Nice high contact. And that's the key to this. It's staying nice and straight in the air, really high, and then able to whip the ball over the shoulder. the net. Leshikov in a bit of trouble, didn't help himself by playing that particular shot. That's better. It's a long way for Russia to get back from at the moment. The way that Kata are playing, they're not showing any signs of giving up this lead, not in a hurry. And that certainly doesn't help Russia's cause. Small margins, but well left. I think it was going out. Was unlucky. Not much Semenov could do. He's having to react, but his instincts told him, right, it's coming, a turn coming, poke, try and poke it over. He couldn't get there in time to stop the second ball. And he was unlucky not to get that back over. Oh. 
great work by Sheriff. And Leshikov trying a little bit of an, an indoor manoeuvre that we've seen. And those of you that follow your indoor volleyball will have seen a certain French international employ to good effect. But the Enger pair not working. And it's uh, Leshikov who's just been... Uh, Right, it's Semenov who's been given a yellow card for whatever it was he said to the referee. It's a great block. are full of energy at the moment and they're now two points away from the opening set Sheriff. cleverly done Sheriff. by Sheriff it's now set point Leshikov to keep Russia in it. Oh, yes. That's brilliant. Taking out two players. It's not a spectacular boom, but it is just as graceful, just as skillful. A serve Semenov. Russia sticking in there for the moment. Players are allowed to take water at side switches because of the weather conditions here in Mexico. It is hot and for their health and safety. It's something that is monitored every hour by the referees. Line block signaled against Ahmed by the looks of it and it's a cross court block signaled against Sharif. In fact, it's a line block against Sharif. Well, they're going to break, but it doesn't work. Sheriff puts it on the floor. Kata take the set, 21-15, and they lead by one set to nothing here in this gold medal match. Time for the second set. Semenov with the serve. Russia trailing one set to nothing against Kata, who are here in the final for the third time in a row in this Cancun hub. And they're looking for their first gold medal. And they're going the right way about it. Massive swing from Sherry to the line. Quick 
ball for Ahmed. Big spring, nice roll. Such a great and interesting blocking style from Sheriff because he gets down out of the eye line of the attacker, but his hands are, are through and under the net. So he's then got to bring them back up and over. And then Ahmed, well, he's just a jack in the box, isn't he? Springing out of the sand to play the ball. That's good play from Leshikov. You get a chance to have a look at uh, Jerry's block and the, the, the action he has to make. Kind of the extra effort he's putting in to get his hands back from under the net, towards himself, up, and then across again. As opposed to just taking a step off the net, keeping his hands in front of him, and just jumping up and getting right across. But because he's so tight to the net, his hands will get a bit further across, but the risk is there of him touching the net. That time he was uh, in trouble with the attack, the ball a little bit close to Semenov. And so just like that, one break point and Russia are level. Leshnikov in the right place, he still couldn't stop that one. If anything, it looked like his hips got a little bit behind him, so the angle at which he tried to play the ball was, wasn't great. You can see that, can't you? That's, he's hinged, instead of pushing his hips under the ball, to try and get to it. It's just not happening at the moment for Russia. They are brilliant with one rally and then not so the next. And after being 2-2, a break point for Kata. Sees them up by two. And for those of you who are unsure what a break point is, it's when you win a point from being the team that's serving as opposed to winning the point from the team that's siding out. And they're really important. They're the only way you can win a set and with it the match because you need to win by two clear. And if you both just keep siding out, then you both just be within a point of each other. So it needs somebody to win that break point to get either back into it or, in, as we've seen with Kata, to get two clear. So now that Russia have got that side out point, they're still one behind. They need a break point now just to get level. So the value of break points is huge. That's well played. Ahmed straight over on two. The two point gap is restored and what that means for Russia now is they need to side out to get back to one break point to get level break point to get in front and then a break point to get two in front if they're going to stick with serving so there's a lot of work to be done for Russia that's well played and then the, unfortunately for Ahmed, he's put it the wrong side of that sideline, which is a huge relief for Russia because that break point now. Well, that side out point, in fact, wasn't it? Because Kata had uh, got it into transition, so they were looking to extend their lead. That time, Sheriff makes sure that the ball goes in. And Kata have their side out. Good up. Well, trying to play a little bit of a Sepak Takrao then, perhaps. That would have been something, wouldn't it, if he'd have got that over from there with his feet. It just seems to have he must have caught his hand, so it had to go over. Sheriff's been to an Olympic Games. He was ninth with Jefferson Santos Pereira in 2016 in Rio, looking to go back there again now with Ahmed. And you get the feeling they may well do better than ninth. It's definitely on their hit list is world championship podium finishes, gold medal, 
Olympic Games podium finish, gold medal. Right now they've got their sights on a gold medal here in Cancun. such speed and that is the thing it's the speed of that hit this is no time to react for Leshikov Kata enjoying themselves at the moment Leshikov getting it off of Sheriff who was uh, because he gets so tight to the net at times and that was one instance where he's actually his, his head comes back and his arms go up in the air and he can't get across the net as far as he normally does and in which case then he was able to have the ball wiped off of him once again Ahmed even with Leshikov in the right place. Gets turned by this one, Leshikov. Doesn't get one shoulder under, he gets his shoulder, comes around, and that's why the ball's into the Caribbean Sea. That's uh, up by two again. the block and as a result Kata now half three up it's just as frustrating as it can possibly be for Lishikov at the moment because he's in the right place he's in a good area to make a touch and he's making the touch but he just can't keep the ball in play the question you've got to ask is why can't Leshikov keep it in play error from Semenov and as a result of that now this is a big lead for Kata. And that body language from Semenov didn't look great, did it? As he kind of wandered back to position. And that one's not made it. More trouble for Russia. Add to that frustration for them that they know they can beat this team. They've done it already. We did it at the first Cancun Hub event for those of you who just oh my goodness man. it just went very dark then as the lights went out and the roof got put on that was a massive block look how far across the net Sheriff gets here nowhere at all for Leshikov to go technical timeout Kata are very much in control of this gold medal match Dar la bienvenida aquí en Cancún a nuestra campeona mundial de los 400 metros planos, campeona panamericana, campeona mundial de la Golden League y subcampeona olímpica, Ana Gabriela Guevara, leyenda del atletismo mexicano, directora general de CONADE que está aquí para premiar Daniel. Adelante en inglés, por favor, preséntame.
Ahmed with the serve. Big lead for Kata. Yeah, that's brilliant. Sheriff is such a good player, such a respectful player as well. That he's just showing brilliant sporting spirit to say, yeah, I did touch it. No one was quite sure. It's a really tricky, tricky place for Ricavallo because it's the furthest away from him it can be. The ball also clipped the net. But Sheriff the first say, yeah, I touched it. Let's play. And now they get back on with the business of playing their volleyball and scoring more points. Sherry has a lot of admirers within the beach volleyball community. Both he and Ahmed, very humble players. Oh, good touch. We can change up. Ahmed's going to have a block. Oh, he's got a touch as well. Sheriff for the point. Oh, it's brilliant. Everything they are touching right now appears to be turning to gold. Seven off some happy. Believes there was a net touch by Ahmed. Well, I think Seven off's clutching at straws. That's the wrong focus for Seven off. Needs to be focusing on him and his partner and what they need to do to get out of this situation. And that's how you do it. Let the volleyball do the talking. hasn't touched anybody it's too many unforced errors for Russia and it's not even close now in this second set Qatar only need the three points but what's good about their players are just focusing on each point as it comes they're not looking to the scoreboard they're looking beyond what needs to be done in the now and they are playing brilliantly in the now 19-9, 10 point lead. What I mean by in the now is, what have I got to do now, at this moment? And that's what they are doing exceptionally well. Taking their opportunities. You can see as well that Leshikov knew that that was the wrong shot to play. He was exasperated as he played it right onto where Ahmed was waiting. Great touch. Not giving up on anything. Semenov takes the point. Leshikov to serve. It is gusting still, the wind, as it has done on every occasion. And it has been a battle of the elements. Those that have been able to cope with it the best have come up with the victories. And it's looking like Kata are going to be coming up with a victory here now. It's match point for Kata. Not going to be just yet. Net touch, shirt caught the net. A wry smile from Sharif. So has to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, that's all, really, isn't it? It's not a question of if, but when. Eight opportunities from side out here for Kata. Semenov with the serve. 
And that's it, it's all over. Qatar have done it at the third time of asking here in Cancun. Sheriff and Ahmed have taken gold. Three consecutive finals, two silvers, and now they can finally enjoy the moment as Arnold Dijrad, the tournament director, presents the trophy. It's what they've been hoping for, trying to win. They failed at the first one, they couldn't do it the second, they've done it now, I'm not sure they can quite believe it. Take a seat, boys, you've done it. You're the champions. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. They didn't deserve this, they earned it. They've been in three finals in a row, and the third time of asking, they played as good a game as you would expect from them, as they could have hoped to play. And they are the champions here in Cancun. Wonderful ambassadors for the sport. It's a, new set in the world now. a consummate performance from them. And that's good to see from Semenov as well. Congratulating the winners. Here are the highlights. Let's hear from our winners. To reach your goals now, but you know, we were not in a rush because we know we trust the process. And it's a long, it's a long term process, so we were just patient and then try to, to, to play better than the previous tournament. And um, uh, we, we even forgot about the goal. We just, we just focus on, on play better each, each game. And um, uh, we are, we are really grateful. Uh, we are really um, uh, thankful to be here and win the goal. So now it's time to rest. We've been so long, three weeks. Physically, mentally, we were really, really tired, but uh, we just keep our focus on the, in the highest level we, we can, and um, uh, that's, that's make the difference. Yeah, Ahmed, you can see you're very emotional about this victory. What's going through your mind right now? Uh, it's a history, you know, for us. And this is our first goal for me and him for a first time event. Uh, I feel so amazing about it, you know. 
We did a history, really, really. Like for, for, for both of us, like this is a record. Three finals in three weeks, so amazing. At the end, we get the goal. This is unbelievable, it's unbelievable, really. Congratulations, guy. Enjoy. Makata can believe it now. A two sets to nothing win for them. And they have taken the gold here in Cancun.